Hello everyone, what is good? It is your boy Luke Novi back at it again with another vid. As you may or may not have heard, Brawl Stars has had some news recently, and on today, November 12th, Brawl Stars has deleted tweets, taken away YouTube videos, and left us with a photo of some brawlers walking away. This has led many to speculate if the game will be shutting down or if it is a possible global release and for something bigger. In this video today, I will offer my opinion on this issue and possible reasons why it may be shutting down. First off, Brawl Stars was announced on a live stream on YouTube on June 14th of 2017. It was soft launched in the Canadian App Store the day after and was available in the Denmark, Finland, Sweden, and Norway App Stores on January 19th, 2018. On June 26th, 2018, Android devices received access as a continued soft launch. Brawl Stars was developed by Supercell, so you'd figure it would soon after be released on the US App Store and globally, right? Well, this is unlike other Canadian App Store releases and successful Supercell games. Popular games such as Clash Royale went global after only two months on the Canadian App Store and even more successful Clash of Clans, produced by Supercell as well, went global after a year and a half which seems similar, but that was six years ago when iPhones and mobile games weren't as hot. Now, after a year and change, Brawl Stars may be making its exit, and there may be a reason why. Brawl Stars has seen its pains throughout its time. After the soft launch, it shot up to top five, grossing on the Canadian App Store, and went out on a slow decline that was rejuvenated only from time to time. However, it has been in and out of around the 100 mark, and additions only seem to stimulate it for so long. Brawl Stars is a simplified multiplayer online battle arena, or a MOBA game for short. It has been compared to League of Legends, but only features 6 players instead of 10 in a game, and has shorter games. Originally, you would use a brawler in-game, would get coins based on the result of the game, and could buy boxes that could give you new brawlers and points to upgrade said brawlers, known as Elixir. However, after drastic shifts, rarities were switched, brawlers were added, and the system changed. Instead, you now get keys to unlock boxes, get coins, points, and possibly gems, as well as you get a slim chance of getting a brawler. You can spend your coins on power points in the shop or on upgrading a brawler. You also have the chance to unlock some brawlers through trophy progression, which is hard for some. Now for the gameplay itself. In my opinion, I have found it fun to play amongst friends and with friends. And that's really about it. Friends. It seems like the game is only fun when you have people you know playing it and that by yourself it doesn't provide enough enjoyment. It is the repetitive maps and gameplay with a small choice of at max 21 brawlers which very few have. So most of the time you're playing with an option of 10 to 15 brawlers over and over and over again. Secondly, it is highly pay to improve in my opinion. I don't say pay to win because there is some skill involved, and one player may not be able to shift a win in a 3v3, but by paying, people are able to upgrade brawlers and can have a better shot at getting hard to obtain brawlers, such as the legendary ones. Although this seems fine, it affects everyone. It isn't much like playing Clash Royale, where you buy chests and can upgrade your cards, and with the 13 levels, it may not make too much of a difference. But by buying here, some people are putting their high level account along with better skilled people with lower card levels because of their trophy level being the same, or around the same. I do get annoyed at people who have maxed out brawlers of level 10, and the same if not less trophies than me, just because, I'm going to be frank, I'm better with my level 6 cards. The strategy and teamwork can only get you so far, it seems also, which is a bit annoying. To sum it up, Brawl Stars hasn't lived up to the Supercell standards, I feel, and we may see it go soon. This is because of a lack of depth, too many changes, not having enough to choose from, which goes into repetition, and having a slightly pay-to-win atmosphere. The work I put into the game doesn't seem very rewarding with the progress I have been making. Is there anything you think I left out, or do you even disagree with me? Leave it in the comments. Make sure to like and sub if you enjoy, and I will have possibly a final box opening up soon. Thank you for watching. Peace. I like turtles. Ooh, ooh. Mm.